How does your love of chocolate fit into your own personal narrative? Ah, chocolate. <laughs> wow. Well, um, I like to think um, that um, chocolate actually is my birthright. <laughs> um, no, truly. I mean, so listen, like I, I grew up in Switzerland as a kid, first nine and a half years. My father worked for Nestle. Actually, he was an inventor for Nestle. Okay, so like I literally, I had like a Willy Wonka childhood. <laughs> oh, wow. All right, and, um, and then um, later on in life, I had this epiphany, it was in my early 20s. I walked into my kitchen pantry and I had about 25 bars of chocolate that were stacked up. And I had sort of this like awakening moment. Of, frankly, it was, it was half embarrassment, shame, and the other half excitement. But it was like, all right, I can't possibly eat all of this chocolate before it goes bad. So I thought, you know what? Why don't I invite my friends over and I'll take them on a tour of the world through chocolate. Mm. And that was the birth of some epic store, uh, epic uh, rather house parties um, that I used to hold called Return of the Chocosaurus Rex. <laughs> and so... We're talking dark chocolate on silver platters, fresh fruit and savories, matched to different pairings, elevated attire, highly encouraged. And these were epic, epic parties. Um, and, and it got me um, sort of more and more fascinated about chocolate. Uh, and I share this in my bio with people when I talk about my passion for chocolate. And it's this incredible bridge builder. Uh, and I think there, there, there's something about um, chocolate that actually is very alchemical. And I used to see this actually at the parties I used to throw. Um, it, it, you know, there, and, and there's a lot of actually scientific research about the, the effects that chocolate has on circulation, cardiovascular health. Like, so l literally chocolate opens the heart. That's what it does. And, and I'm also really fascinated with the epic origins of chocolate. Do you, do you know where chocolate comes from? Uh, like, yeah, do you know where cacao like originated from? Mm, not quite. So cacao, right, originates from Mesoamerica. Mm. All right. And here's the interesting thing about it. So it was uh, the way that cacao is cultivated. Most people don't realize cacao uh, is actually, it comes from a fruit that grows on trees. Okay, it's a big, big fruit. It almost looks like a football, all right? And you crack open this fruit and inside is all of this pulp. It's white, sort of gooey pulp. And then you clean all of that off and you get to the, the seeds, these pods crack open the pods, right? Those are then the cacao seeds. That's what's actually taken. It's then dried in the sun, fermented, goes through the whole process, comes out the other side as chocolate. Well, if you go back to Mesoamerica and cacao, so a couple things. Number one, cacao, right, was actually used in ancient sacred ceremonial rites by the priest kings. It was actually how they communicated with the gods. Right? And it's actually in the name, literally, Theobroma, the Latin name for cacao, translates to food of the gods. All right, it gets even better. Cacao was also used as currency in Mesoamerica. There were two kinds of currency. There were cowrie shells, which was traditional regular currency, and then cacao was noble currency. It was like the next tier up. It's like silver versus gold. Wow. Right? It was the really prized stuff. So fast forward to Cortez coming along. right? Remember, the Spanish, they're seeking gold riches and all of that. Well, so they make to Mexico City, and what do they find are f like fields and fields of cacao trees, right? So literally, they had discovered money that grew on trees, <laughs> right? And it goes on and on. Like cacao then was brought to Europe, and for many years, cacao was only enjoyed actually by the priests, in, in, in their like monasteries, it was like, it was relegated as a priestly act and it was only then through time, it then reached out to, no, to the noble classes and then right when sugar got introduced in the 1600s across Europe, that's then it went out into the masses, which is a whole nother story, which I'm fascinated by, by that history. And of course, I, I really do believe there's something, I'll, I'll leave it at this, I believe cacao is, um, is, a, is an essential ingredient in our collective evolution.